Bonjour French ladies, it's Marianne and today we're going to have a look at three outfits we can create with a beautiful and highly versatile classic trench coat. So one casual outfit to run errands, a second outfit to go on a lunch date with your friends and a third outfit for evening with your husband or your date. So first of all, the trench coat and why it is or maybe should be a valuable item in your wardrobe, my lovely ladies, over 50. So first of all, the color is classic. So you have trench coat in black, in beige, or in navy. It is better to keep it in one of the classic colors. So let's have a look at the trench coat. How is it made? So first of all, you have a color that you can put up like this around your neck. It is very good against the wind. So you can wear it like this croisé or you can button it up as well to be warmer. And you know, you can wear that also with a nice scarf. You have those storm flaps on either side and these are an intrinsic part of the trench coat. It is durable. It is made to be worn during rain and the wind. The classic trench coat is double-breasted, so if the double-breasted style does not suit you, you can still find some that are single-breasted. You have a safe tie belt. You have also some epaulets at the shoulders here, and usually have this tie at the breast. At the back, you have this storm flap as well, and at the vent, you have a button. You can undo if you like. So this is a very classic style for a trench coat. So for us women over 50, we love this style because it is timeless, highly versatile, you can wear it with everything. And this is what we are going to see in this uh, video. Please let us know first, do you have a classic trench coat in your wardrobe? Let us know in the comments below. So first of all, our first outfit is going to be casual, something to wear to run errands, to go shopping maybe. As always, we women of 50 do not like to look frumpy or underdressed. So I'm thinking pair of jeans. I am wearing a pair of jeans right now that allows to wear flats with it. So I am wearing those ballet flats very French style. This is probably a little bit overdressed. So let's see what can I, I could replace the shirt with. I want something that will be uh, probably a, a French look. We could go with a, one of those pinstripes, but again, it may look a little bit overdressed. I don't want to go with a t-shirt. I like things a little bit more elevated. I'm thinking a marinière. Let's see how it looks on. It is straight like this, you're not going to wear it like that. So let's see what we can do to make it a little bit more flattering. So the tuck it in like this, that is more flattering. You can also tuck it all in if you wanted to, but I like it like this because it creates a shape. It points towards my waistline. If you cold, leave them long. If you don't, put them up like that, but I'm going to wear my trench coat over it so I can just do this. So now let's have a look at the shoes. I am wearing ballet flats with that trendy for autumn. So I can wear them with a trench coat if the weather is okay. If the weather starts to get wet and it's a bit cooler, I may choose some other shoes. So let's try this at the moment with a trench coat and let's see which of the shoes I could wear with. This trench coat, I kid you not, I mean, it's not that old. It's only about five years old. But some people who have beautiful trench coat like the Burberry's, they can keep them for my well, whole lifetime. Let's put this on. Ah, oh, look, that looks so nice. And that is a French typical outfit. We wear this together with a trench coat. You know, it is casual, yet elevated. It is never frumpy, the casual style. As a woman over 50, we need to be a little more raffiné. Let's stand out for our style. Let's not be invisible in a sea of frump. Let's elevate ourselves a little bit. Please let me know if you agree with me. So let's see how we can style this look a little bit. We can you know, lift up the sleeves a little bit, do this a little bit so it stops the sleeves. We can do that. Let's see about closing it. Do it like this, and that looks quite cool. And you do it like that, a little bit. Like that, yes. Mm. 
and that looks stylish, casual, you know what you're doing, but you know, you're cool with it, you didn't take long to get ready, you're always in a hurry, you just grab this trench coat before leaving the house. And you know, that looks nice. What you can do also, of course, is wearing it open or you button it all up like this, make a knot like this, do that, and you grab the one underneath, you put it like this, do that. So you put it up like that. And you can leave it at the front, you can put it at the side if you like, looks good at the front. Do something like that. What you can do also is remove this and wear another belt if you have. Let's try something. I've got various brown belts. As I'm always telling you, try things on. There are various ways with trench coats. I love that. Very versatile. So let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, oh, I like that. Mm. What do you think, ladies? Please me, let me know what you think. Uh, it must not be a thin belt though, because for an outerwear, like on a coat or a trench coat, the belt needs to be, you know, um, a good width, a medium width, nothing too narrow. Different color, a little bit narrower belt. We're just trying things on. It doesn't always work, but sometimes we can, uh, can discover something. I don't like this one as much. I think probably because the belt, I think the belt is too narrow. Yeah, I don't think it works. I prefer the other belt, but we can try. Let's put this one back on. If you wear your raincoat open, even though it's a little bit nipped in at the waistline, it's nicely shaped, you are quite straight up and down here. A trick that you can do, and French women do a lot, me included, is you take your belt and you tie it up at the back. You make a nice knot and look, narrow, your open raincoat has a shape here. Can you see the indentation here on the waistline? So you see I've got a shape even though this is open. This is the kind of result you want, and it looks really nice. I also love the raincoat, the trench coat, with the color up. It looks so, so nice. It looks very stylish. There's no way to avoid it. A trench coat is stylish. It elevates the casual look. We've got those ballet flats with the trench coat. I really like it, they're flat, you can walk fast for your shopping, for your errands, that's good when it's dry, but autumn we're getting the rain. So I'm looking around right now for shoes. I'm thinking, what have I got here? You could wear these for instance. You will need leather ones if it rains. Um, ah, these I've got a heel and my trousers are for flats. Oh, that will go. Let me put them on. Oh. You could have um, those heels or flat heels if you wanted to. So that's nice. Again, it is a casual look, but it is upgraded, it is elevated. And this is the kind of casual look that in France we like to wear. Now, the bag. In France we like to wear this crossbodies bag. Up, bang. It goes with the camel, it goes with the blue, the shoes. You know, you don't even have to think about it. That's my handbag. You have to be able to create outfits without really thinking too much about it. Just grab something. And that's very much in the spirit of the French style because a wardrobe is so versatile and you don't have to overthink things. So this one is small, but you want something big because you're carrying things, document or something, so you can grab a tote. You know, again, it's brown, it goes with the camel, it goes with the blue. Um, that's perfect, look at that. I'm sure you could also have something bright if you wanted to. What do I have? Um, do, 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 do. This one. There. When you look at it, it's nice to bring some color in, but I'm with this top. I have the white, I've got the blue, the beige, and I'm adding red. Mm, maybe that may be too much for my taste. For me, I would stay in the beige, um, or if I had a navy blue bag. So let's see for the next outfit. Now for our lunch date. I've been wearing blue this morning, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for neutral trousers to go with the trench coats. I could go with this, but it's autumn. So with white, mm, not sure. 
I could try the gold, that would be fine. But I'm thinking I want to wear my check trousers. So now, what could I wear with that? So we're having the trousers, so ooh, So what I like to do is, when you have something in the print, have a look at the colors of that print and pick up a top that is in the colors of the print. We could go for black, dark gray, navy blue. Uh, we could go for the beige and kind of red here. I could go for burgundy. That would look very nice. I could go for, for red, for dark red. Uh, I could go for this one. I love this one with that. So I'm looking around. I could go with something like this. You see, all that will go. Take it around your wardrobe and have a look. Oh yes, oh yes, like this. You know? And then try things on. And here, ooh, ooh, I am thinking maybe this, that would be nice. I like that. I could try that. And if that doesn't go, I could wear this as an alternative. And let's see. <laughs> I really like that. That looks really nice. It's a little bit open, so it's not completely straight. That would work, but you could also arrange it well. Please let me know what you think. The buttons are silver. We are with the browns and the beige. What you could do is change the buttons if you liked. But you know, sometimes we ever think things. I could wear those shoes. I could also wear some black ones. Um, what have I got? Let's try this. I'm looking around. What else I could wear? <laughs> The thing with outfits, we have many options. Many times, we wear the, the same thing with the same thing. So it's good to try new things. And I like that as well. We can also try some feminine shoes. We could try some of these shoes. Hmm? See how it looks. Ooh! I'm also seeing these shoes. Wow. Mm. Would you like me to try these on? How old are they? Maybe 15. And that will add a touch of feminine to the look. Look at those shoes. And let's not forget that, you know, this style of, um, of shoe is back in with the straps at the front, kind of Mary Jane look. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, look at that. I like that. I like it. And you go and see your friends. Hello, girls, how are you? And they will tell you, oh, Marianne, I love your top. Oh, and those shoes, the trousers, what a good idea. Oh, but you say, so easy. Oh, look, Marianne showed me how to put this outfit together. I love it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Women over 50, the world is your oyster. And you're the pearl. It is not my saying, I've uh, seen it. And um, I think it's a lovely saying. I think it's a wow. And if it's a wow, it's a we. See what works for you. So please let me know if you like this outfit. But I think it's really nice. It's um, not overly dressed, but still elevated, easy. You could also wear flats if you wanted to. If you only wear flats, choose flats then that are pointy. Something like these loafers, the pointed toe. They're flat, comfortable, but they're still elevated. You could try also some loafers like these. Here you are, something very simple that anybody can put on together. Now, let's have a look at outfits for the evening. Right, for the evening, let's think about that. I have one pair of jeans, I have one pair of um, wool trousers for lunch, now for the evening. I think something feminine, something in a dress or a skirt. Let's go feminine but yet sexy, but still with a little bit of of rock star vibe with it. And there's nothing like black leather for it. So I have just a skirt for it. So this one is a faux leather skirt. It has a split at the back, pencil skirt. I think that would add a sexy vibe. What could I wear with it? So let's have a look. I could wear a silk blouse. That would look nice as well. I could wear something also in lace. Look, that would look nice as well. Look at that. This would look lovely. 
Again, a few options here, a few options. Oh, look at this. But that may be too office like for an evening. I have something like that. That looks nice. I have, oh, go away. Oh, this, my leopard blouse as well. That would look nice. Let's have a look. Uh, this is pink, mm. black shirt like this, with black silk. But I'm seeing this, that would look nice as well. Oh, we might try this. So we're going for, you know, we've got the black, we've got leather that is um, cool, that is more masculine if you like. A harsher vibe contrasted with lace. So that has the feminine touch. So let's try it. Right, ladies, I've got the top and the skirt on. Of course, don't forget you need a um, strapless bra. The top is lovely, it's got the lace all around here. It is sexy without being too much. The most subtle that you show shoulder, a back or an arm, the sexier it is. By showing too much, it's never sexy, it's just too much. So this is, I find, really sexy. You show a bit of shoulder here and a bit of front. You show it a bit of back. I like that. And the sleeves are lovely. They are uh, delicate, it's a bit see-through. So it is very good for instance if you've got bingo wings, you know, boop, boop. But with these, they won't show. The black skirt on. And I am wearing my beloved snakeskin shoes. I think that looks nice. Anything that is nude will lengthen your legs visually. So now, let's have a look at the whole ensemble, ladies. That looks good. And you can see just one color is good. It's lengthening. So do you have a black dress? Do you have a, a black top and a black skirt like this? Have a look what you've got. And make sure you have either a belt or it shows off your waistline is really good. So now let's put it on, but I have my microphone, so I've got to be careful. Okay, so now I have my outfit. Maybe it needs a, a shorter skirt, or maybe the, the, the trench coat has to be a little bit longer. Have a look with the length and what you will do. I think that much of a difference, I don't think it makes that much of a, um, you know, a difference yet, but it could be longer. I know I prefer usually my jacket as a much shorter, than the skirt of the dresses, or a little bit longer, or the same length. I mean, by the way, ladies, if you are petite, choose a trench coat that is shorter, at mid-length or mid-thigh, so that you don't disappear, so that it don't, doesn't overwhelm your silhouette. For inverted triangles, choose trench coats that have raglan sleeves. Raglan means it stands from the neckline. That will visually narrow your shoulders. If you have a bit of a tummy or if you are apple shape, wearing the trench coat open like this over uh, an outfit in the same color, you can see my tummy disappears here because it creates a column of color and that slims you down. Voila, my lovely ladies, three outfits with a trench coat that can literally take you from morning to evening as a wonderful, classic, timeless piece. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one.